Hi, this is Melanie with Mel Mel Stamps. I just wanted to share a card with you today that I made with the Birds and Branches bundle. Comes with the Birds and Branches stamp set. And then the Birds and More dies. Comes with 16 dies. A lot of fun ones in there. That's what I used to make the card. I made this card for a card swap in a team card swap recently. And I actually got, I actually won one of the prizes. So I was happy about that. So I have got our card base ready. I have cut a piece of early espresso cardstock and then scored it at five and a half. So we've got our card base like this. And then I always like to put inside some piece of white inside when the card bases are um, dark like this one is so that we can write a greeting or stamp a greeting so i'm going to put this in this is a piece of whisper white cardstock cut at four by five and a quarter inches so that makes our card base on the front i've got the forever greenery designer series paper this is beautiful it's got all a lot of different shades of green double-sided paper it goes so well with our whole theme of the birds and branches. You see all these pretty colors, the pretty designs. And I have gone ahead and chosen this, this one, and cut it at four and five and a quarter. And I'm going to put that on the front of the card just so that we'll be ready once we've stamped. We have our card base to add our images to. So I'm also going to put this on and leave a quarter, not a quarter, an eighth of an inch around the edge. And there we have our card base. I've also used these embossing folders. They're called Greenery Embossing Folders. It's a two-pack, and they're just two smaller um, embossing folders than we usually have. But it was perfect. This one that has the branches on there is just perfect to emboss this two inches by five and a quarter piece of cardstock that is pretty peacock. And so I can take that and run it through my embossing machine and then it comes out like this. It's embossed with, embossed with some leaves. So I'm just going to add that to the card and put it off to the side. We have it so that little bit of that paper shows on either side and then we've got those embossed branches there. So our card base is ready for our card. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to start to stamp. Notice I did a little bit stamping earlier, kind of practicing. Um, I'm using the bird stamp, the nest, the eggs, and then this is a two-step stamping. So we have two stamps that we're going to use for the bird. So, colors I've chosen, I just got the color scheme using the pretty peacock that was in the paper. And Cajun Craze and Soft Suede. So, to start out with, I'm going to stamp the nest in Soft Suede. It's so fun how this stamps, because some of the twigs end up light and some are darker. So, it kind of gives it a shaded and realistic look. I love that. Then I'm going to stamp our bird in soft suede also, like so. And then we have the th three eggs together, but when we cut those out with the dies, they um, are three separate eggs. It's like I got a little bit of my ink on there, so I'm going to stamp that off a little bit. Then I'm going to do those in the pretty peacock. I'm picturing Robin, a Robin Redbreast and her nest of eggs. So we need to give her a red, red breast. So I've used Cajun Craze for that. And I've taken this other background to the bird and stamp it in the Cajun Craze. Now I don't want the, the eye to be red on this robin. So I'm going to use a little post-it this is called masking 
on there so that the eye will stay brown and white and won't be red because we don't want an evil bird. She's a sweet bird. Then I'm going to stamp that off to make it lighter and line that up and put it on the bird. That didn't very good. But then we have the robin and the eye is still brown. Now I've got the dies that can cut these out. First of all, we have the nest. We have the eggs and the bird, which when we cut it, some of that um, red that I went outline with will cut off so the bird will look nicer. So I'm going to go and cut these out. I've also cut a piece of um, scratch old olive cardstock that I'm going to do this branch with. So we're going to cut all of this out with the die cutting machine. And when we come back, voila, it's magic. We have a nest. We have the eggs. Whoops, we're missing an egg. We get that one. We have three little robin eggs. We've got the robin red breast. We've got the branch and the, the um, nest that we can put on our card. So I'm going to move the inks back. And we have a little more to do. I pre-cut this with the circle dies, the layering circle dies. Not sure what size it is, but it was the perfect for my little branch, my nest, my robin. Perfect. See how this is all going to go together? So I'm going to... Just glue this down like on the bottom so that I can tuck the eggs in. I'm just going to put that on the circle. Then we have the three eggs and I've got the mini glue dots. These are so handy to have around. Just little glue dots that will do these little items really well. So you can just pick that off the roll of glue dots. And we can just slide them under in the nest. So we only put the adhesive on the bottom of the nest. And we're not popping these up. I'm just going to have them be in there in the nest, just with the mama bird. Okay, so we've got those three eggs right there in that nest. And then I want to put the mama bird on with a dimensional. Just a regular size stamp and dimensional. And she's just kind of sitting on the side of the nest there. Kind of pops up a little bit. Okay. Then we have one more thing we want to stamp. And I got this from the Here's a Card stamp set. A lot of fun greetings here. Um, I chose the hello there. And then you could put any things inside ones if you'd like but I chose that stamp set for my greeting and I'm going to stamp it in soft suede I'm going to see how that stamps there we go just put that little greeting on there it says hello there isn't that cute just a little bird saying hello there then we can get our card base and add all these fun elements to it so we've got our bird here, and I'm going to center this circle over this cardstock right here so that it's kind of, it's in the middle there. And I'm going to glue that down flat like so, just a little bit up, not really in the middle, but leaving a little more room on the bottom because we're going to put our branch in there. So now we can do a branch across there. So it looks like that nest is sitting on a branch. And this is cool. It has little embossed inside the flowers. So that makes it pretty cool. Then I'm going to use these little mini glue dots. And I've got that stuck to my finger um, on the branches. Where are the Blue dots really come in handy for that. Okay. Then we'll put this down. 
put that branch right there. I'm going to make it so it'll still go into the envelope. I'm going to get one more glue dot to just kind of stick under this one to hold it in place. There we have that branch going across. Now all we need is a little bow. I've taken our linen thread and tied a little bow and I'm going to put it on the side of this nest. Right there. Right there, a little nest. And then one more thing. You know how I like sparkle. Taking the Wink of Stella brush, the glitter brush. Squeeze a little bit in the end, not a lot. I'm just going to make these eggs a little bit shiny. Add some shine to them. So they'll kind of stand out in the card. Be the main focus. And there we have our Birds and Branches card. So, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed our card today. Um, remember to check out um, Mel Mel Stamps. Mel Mel Stamps Stampin Up .net is my website, and be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mel Mel Stamps, so that you won't miss any more fun videos of cards. And you have a wonderful day and happy stamping.